The backstage area was buzzing with post-concert enthusiasm. Taylor Swift, still beaming from the excitement of the crowd, wiped away a stray dab of glitter on her cheek. Her eyes welled up, but not from perspiration or exhaustion. Travis stood across the room, his bronzed skin practically blazing beneath the intense lighting. He was being interviewed, and his deep voice easily filled the room, and, yes, Taylor is fantastic. We've been talking about taking it one game, one song at a time, but what about the family? Absolutely. That woman deserves a stadium full of mini Swifts running around, Taylor let out a stifled sob. A family, a future made with Travis, had always been a secret tune in her heart, but she had never dared to express it to him not even in her wildest thoughts. Travis Kels was the NFL's golden kid, with a life filled with touchdowns and sponsorships. How could she, a performer always on tour, possibly fit into that world? Travis's gaze met hers from across the room, a gradual smile formed on his lips, crinkling the corners of his eyes, he winked, conveying a silent message specifically for her. In that moment the weight of his words became clear. It wasn't just a passing comment for the cameras. He intended it, Taylor's eyes welled up with tears of delight and disbelief. She grabbed her phone and swiped her thumbs across the screen. A brief text with one word, yes. This wasn't a song lyric but a meticulously written tale. This was real, filthy, and lovely. This was their future, a melody ready to be written together. Travis excused himself from the interview, his long strides closing the gap between them. He hugged her tightly, the aroma of his perfume and success permeating the air. So, he muttered, his voice quivering, does that mean we'll get to practice more than just cheering for touchdowns? Taylor laughed, producing a sound like to wind chimes. Let's just say the next song I write my might have a whole new chorus. They sealed the deal with a kiss, a taste of eternity among the ordered chaos of backstage. The roar of the crowd receded, leaving only the steady beat of two hearts finding their rhythm. The backstage lights stood in stark contrast to the warm glow flowing from Travis Kelce's post-game interview. Taylor Swift nestled up in a corner, watched the TV, a combination of emotions racing through her gut. Travis, ever the charmer, fielded queries with his trademark goofy grin. Then a reporter's query pierced through the air. Travis, with the offseason approaching, do you have any exciting plans? Maybe take things to the next level? Travis chuckled, his eyes clearly looking for something off camera. A beat of quiet was followed by a grin that could melt glaciers. You know, he winked, there could be a tiny Kels kingdom in the works sooner than later. Tay, this one is for you, darling. The audience exploded in cheers, and Taylor's smile faded. Tears filled her eyes, distorting the image on the TV. It wasn't the concept of a family that drew them in, it was the wonderful vulnerability in Travis's unguarded remarks, the way he'd included her in his victory and future. However, a knot of anxiety clenched in her chest. Taylor wasn't certain she was on the same page. Her career was thriving, with her re-recorded albums topping the charts, and she was set to go on a global stadium tour. While she admired Travis, the whirlwind romance hadn't allowed her time to ponder taking a hesitant breath, she excused herself and went to a quiet nook. Tears flowed freely now, a mixture of delight terror and the crushing pressure of making a life-changing decision. She pulled out her phone and typed a message to Travis spilling her heart out. She needed to chat to figure out where they genuinely stood. Moments later, his booming chuckle filled the space. He wrapped her in a hug, his warmth a welcome comfort. Hey there, what's wrong? Taylor, sniffling, showed him the note. Travis read it carefully, his smile evaporating. He grabbed her cheek, his thumb wiping away a tear. Whoa there, slow down, he whispered softly. Family means everything to me, but you are a teammate. My dream is to start a life with you when you're ready. There is no pressure, lovely. This is our journey. Taylor felt a warm, delicious relief rush over him. She leaned toward him, the crowd's shout fading to a faraway hum. In that peaceful hug, they didn't need answers, just an unsaid understanding that their love story, like her music, would unfold one lovely chapter at a time. The backstage atmosphere was electrifying. Taylor Swift, who had just finished a sold-out concert in Nashville, was about to give a post-show interview. But tonight, the lively energy that typically enveloped her had muted. Tears welled up in her eyes, a dramatic contrast to the glitter on her eyelids. 
who is the culprit, her phone was playing a clip from the pregame show on loop, Travis, her lover and the Kansas City Chiefs star tight end, was in the middle of an interview, and his booming voice filled the room, we've been talking about it a lot, he said, a silly grin spreading across his face, honestly Taylor is the most amazing woman I know, when she saw her with the kids at the hospital last week, her entire heart lit up. I wouldn't be surprised to see tiny Kelsas roaming around in the near future. The phone dropped from her grip and clattered against the soft carpet. Travis's words echoed, start a family, little Kelsas. A million emotions raced through her mind, joy for the way he saw her, for life, fear, of the unknown, of enormous responsibility, doubt, a constant voice saying, can you take this, can you be the woman he needs? The door creaked open, showing her publicist, Laura, who was concerned. Taylor, honey, are you okay? The interview is in five. Taylor mustered a grin and wiped her cheeks. Yes, Laura, just a little overwhelmed. Laura hugged her, the familiar aroma of lavender soothing her racing heart. Travis's interview? Taylor nodded, her voice thick. It's wonderful. But also Laura understood. Taylor, the queen of conveying every aspect through her songs, often struggled to express her desires. It's a big decision, right? Huge, Taylor said quietly. The life of a touring artist, the constant churn of making new music, everything seemed so selfish in comparison to Travis's image. Laura gripped her hand. This does not have to be an all or nothing decision Taylor. You're both really successful. Perhaps there is a way to have it all. A glimmer of hope appeared within her. Maybe Laura was correct. Perhaps it was possible to compose a song that encompassed both the roar of the crowd and the pitter-patter of tiny feet. Taylor took a deep breath and smoothed her sequin dress. You're correct, Laura. Let's conduct this interview. And then, she said with renewed conviction, we'll write a new song. The backstage area was buzzing with post-concert enthusiasm. Taylor Swift, still beaming from the excitement of the crowd, wiped away a stray dab of glitter on her cheek. Her eyes welled up, but not from perspiration or exhaustion. The man across the room, her boyfriend Travis Kells, was being interviewed on a sports station. Travis, fresh off another successful season with the Kansas City Chiefs, answered questions with his typical ease, but then a reporter, sensing a story, mentioned Taylor. So, Travis, the reporter continued, rumors are circulating about you and Taylor going to the next level. Travis's smile softened as he stared squarely at the camera. Taylor, he said warmly, is great. We have something special special, and let's just say family is an important part of the future I anticipate for us, Taylor was overcome with emotion as a result of the unexpected declaration, joy, for sure, but a jolt of unanticipated terror accompanied it, as a songwriter, her thoughts raced with lyrics, a melody of what-ifs and unsaid misgivings, Taylor had always wanted a family and imagined small hands wrapping around her fingers, but her job, her music, had always been her guiding star. Could she strike a delicate balance between motherhood and the fast-paced world of stadiums and shouting fans? Tears welled up again, mixed with happiness and uncertainty. Travis, sensing a shift, excused himself from the interview and rushed backstage. He discovered Taylor with her back to him, peering out the window. Hey, he whispered quietly, wrapping his arms around her. Taylor drew in closer, the familiar aroma of his cologne grounding her, her voice was full with emotion as she began, that was a surprise, yeah, Travis chuckled nervously, look, I should not have said anything publicly, it's something we should discuss jointly, I know, Taylor said softly, twisting in his arms, her eyes shimmering with unshed tears, reflected a renewed determination, we will, but for now, she said, a ghost of a smile pl-